Welcome to story time. I have a very special story I'm excited to read you and since we're going to be learning about clothing in the next several weeks, over the next several weeks I thought I'd read a book about an article of clothing but I promised that I would bring any inchworm and honey horse to join us out of our basket. There you go. They haven't come to story time yet so they, everybody can hear it, but they can't all sit up in the special place. They have to take turns. So this book's called Caps for Sale. And a cap is a, what is a cap? It sounds like an ah sound in it, like something you'd put on your head. A hat, a cap is something you wear on your head, like a hat, cap and hat. Interesting. The author is Esfer Slobodkina. She also illustrated the book. It's a title page. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. A peddler is someone who sells things. But he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had on his own checked cap then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. What does that mean to upset your caps? Like if he leaned one way, all the caps would come off. As he went along, he called, caps. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street, calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap, imagine that. He began to feel very hungry but he had no money for lunch. Oh, poor guy. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, thought, said he, and he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. As he walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, said he, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and he leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb or upset the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. That's not what our day looked like here today. We had a rainy day. That's a sunny day. Oh, when he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Oh, look at him. Something's different though. Can you tell? It's different. Yep. <gasps> Before standing up, he felt with his hands to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Oh no. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? Did I guess? I wonder if you guessed right. It's okay if you didn't. On every branch, I would have never guessed this till I saw the story. On every branch sat a monkey and on every monkey was a gray, a brown, a blue, or a red cap. Look at them all. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do, so he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. 
But the monkeys just shook their fingers back at him and said, This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands at him and said, You know, he's getting angry. He felt quite angry and he stamped a foot and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, Yep. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. Can you make an angry face? Make it angry. And he stamped both his feet and he shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. What do you think happened? You can see. <gasps> but then each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps, put them back on his head, first his own checked cap, then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and on the very top, the red caps. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. That is the end. And there's the back cover. He's going back to town. I think he probably sold a red cap or another cap and got some lunch. Mm -hmm. And I will be finding more books about clothing as well. I hope you enjoyed that and I wish you well.